Hello everyone, I am an immense pleasure to host a true icon today. Our today's guest needs no elaborate introduction as their achievements have reverberated through the reams of Career Point. Without further ado, let us welcome the Director of Career Point, Honorable Pramod Maheshwari Sir. Sir, before we delve into the achievements you have had, can you please share with our audiences some glimpse of what inspired you to pursue your path in setting up a coaching career point. So, you know, uh, thank you very much for uh, having me on your show. Uh, in 1993, I graduated from IIT Delhi and like yes. every IITian, I had a dream to go to US and I was all set to go to US. I came to Kota and shared my thoughts with my parents that I would like to go to US and my mother told me that you will go to US, so you will go to US for 20-25 years and you will not go to US. If you come here, you will not see us in more, no more in this world. So it was a very sentimental kind of environment at home and I took a decision to stay with the parents. Kota is my hometown and I took a decision to stay in, uh, in Kota with parents so I become a kind of, you know, unemployed ITN. But my, you know, uh, my neighbor used to come to me to ask questions, assuming that being an ITN I will be able to answer their questions, I will be able to assist them. So one of the students told me that why don't you teach us for IIT? And I thought it's a good idea. I will be able to utilize my knowledge, my qualification to assist youth to get into IIT. And this is how the idea of Career Point came into my mind. And I started Career Point in a tire go down. So being an IIT and you had so many other options, what made you choose teaching only as a career? See, as I said just now, like you know, I had no other option. And once I entered into the teaching, that time I was having multiple options in my mind because like every youth, uh, I thought, okay, let's start teaching. I will also appear for UPSC examination. That time it used to be uh, known as civil services and I will go to IPS or ICE kind of a service. So I had multiple ideas that time. I also thinking that I will appear for CAT and I will do MBA and then I will join some corporate. But once I enter into the teaching, I realized that it's not just a job. It's a very serious, serious kind of a profession in which the students who are coming to you are having belief in you uh, and they are not paying you fee, but they are paying you faith, which is invaluable. So my student actually forced me to work hard. And soon I realized that this is something which I like the most. And that's why, you know, I started loving teaching. And then I, I took the decision to stay in the teaching only. So it was by chance, then by choice, I adopted this profession. Sir, as a director of Career Point, what are your upcoming strategies? So our focus is more on uh, providing the holistic environment of the students because I believe that not everybody is getting into IIT and medical, whosoever is coming to Kota, you know, lakhs of students come to Kota uh, and hardly one or two percent students are able to make place in IIT, medical or few reputed engineering colleges. But what happens with the remaining one? So I personally believe that every child has a career, a better career, provided the right action or right decision is taken at the right time. So for career point, uh, we set up the Gurukul where we provide the holistic education while preparing a student for competitive examination. We also prepare them for schools and also provide them, uh, you know, life skills, which are very, very important. And going forward, I would like to set up more Gurukuls wherein uh, we provide holistic education and when I say holistic education it is not only school education and you know personality development and sports but also preparation for competitive examination be it IIT medical or any examination and even if you want to go to let's say any country outside India to uh, pursue her, her or his undergraduate we would like to prepare them so goal is that career with the life skill is our goal and that's what I am trying to you know implement going forward. Sir, can you share a memorable moment that highlights the impact of your teaching on a student's life? So there are many uh, incidents which I can, you know, uh, think of uh, where our teaching, career point teaching or my personal interaction with the student has, you know, not only changed the career of one particular student, but changed the uh, career of the entire family. So I am able to re recall one of my students who came from a very small village from Shekauti, which is a small place in Rajasthan. And when that boy came to Kota, he was not even able to speak Hindi properly, forget about English. He was, he used to speak only Shekhauti. And while in the class, it was very difficult for him to even ask the question because, you know, everybody started laughing when he used to, you know, ask the question. Unfortunately, 
uh, in the first year of uh, attempt, he came to quota after class 12th. In the first attempt, he was not able to qualify the IIT. I asked him to repeat again because his reflexes in the class was very good. He took a draw for a year, got selected in IIT, uh, got ranked somewhere in top 100, 250, choose IIT daily, uh, studied their computer science five-year integrated program, and now currently working in an MNC and most recently was posted in New York. But this is not only his achievement. Because of his achievement, his younger brothers also got inspired. They also came to Career Point. And two of his younger brothers, one is doctor now, and other is also an engineer from IIT and currently working in US. So the entire family life has changed. And that is something which I personally believe, you know, and how education and teaching impact the life of the families and perhaps Seeing that particular boy, I'm not naming the boy, but seeing that boy, the community has also taken inspiration from him and must have achieved, you know, similar kind of success. So that's what education and I personally believe the career point and my teaching impacted. This is how actually career point and my education has impacted the life of not only one student, but family and the community. So how do you maintain a balance between your professional commitments and personal life? So I never work between 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. That's, that's my family time. Usually at 7 or 7.30, I stop working till 9.30. And from 10.30 in the night, again, I work till 1.30. So, uh, you know, when it's a family time, I actually give it to the family. When it's my, uh, you know, professional time, I give myself or I give my 100% in my profession. And I'm so far able to uh, manage the balance between both. Uh, usually I don't work on Sundays. I do my personal work, but I usually avoid meetings, meeting people and all. So what keeps you motivated to excel in your area of work? I am very optimist and positive and forward looking uh, person. I believe whatever you can imagine, you can achieve. And that's actually inspired me to work hard and to work continuously to achieve something. So. I'm self-motivated guy and just because of my belief that I can do it, I can achieve it. So that's something which, you know, always gives you drive. External motivation will not last for long. So if you are inspired by seeing somebody else or if you are motivated by listening somebody's speech or somebody's, you know, video on the YouTube, you will be motivated for a day or two. But if you are self-motivated, if you, it come within, then you remain motivated and fortunately I have a belief in myself and that's perhaps is the most important asset I possess which keep me motivated to achieve or to do uh, you know whatever I want to do. Sir, how do you keep ahead in an ever-changing landscape? I never target to remain ahead but I study a lot. I, I invest a lot of time on myself and learning. So if you are abreast with the latest technology, latest developments happening in your area, then uh, you remain with, with the changing environment. Whether you are ahead of the people or not, that is not something my target. You should be in sync with the what happening around you. And that's what I've been, you know, doing by investing time in learning. Looking back in life, what is the one lesson that you have learned that you wish you had known earlier in your career? Sir? There are not only one, there are many lessons, you know, there are in my life I've seen success. I also seen failures and based on the experience, I can share a couple of, uh, you know, lessons or a couple of points which are very, very important for anybody to uh, achieve success in life. So first is, you know, believe in yourself, you can do it. If you don't have belief in yourself, nobody will else come and will motivate you. So first lesson is believe in yourself. I believe a lot in myself. If I do anything, I do it with full commitment, assuming that I will be able to do it. So that's the one lesson I would like to share to everyone, because this is one lesson which motivates you to work hard and work hard not only for a particular duration, but on daily basis. And unless as well as you do the uh, hard work on daily basis, you will not able to achieve success. So that's one, belief in yourself. Second, remain positive. Whatever happens, whatever happens, happens for the good. So in long back, if you if you go back in my life, in 1993, like, you know, youth has a lot of, uh, you know, expectations and, uh, you know, fascination for the Western world. So I, like all youth, as I said, I wanted to go to US. And when my parents asked me to stay in Kota, 
I thought now life is closed. There is nothing left in the life. But whatever happened is happened for the good. So I think there was a blessing in disguise. And if I would have not stayed in Kota, uh, then I would not be able to create career point and career point Gurukul and so and so forth. So I believe there is an opportunity in everything, whatever happening around you, whether good or bad, because an opportunity knocks very softly. Uh, you need to find opportunity even in the situation which which seems to be unfavorable. So these are the two lessons I personally believe. If everybody uh, keep in mind and believe, then we'll be able to find some way to achieve success in the life. Thank you very much, sir, for sharing your valuable time and for giving us such life lessons, which we. We'll we will use for the rest of our life. Um, I'm truly honored to be here and enjoy this session with you. Thank you to all our audiences for enjoying this session and for more, keep following us.